Our next speaker is the president and CEO of ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. With more than 25 years of experience building and leading internet enterprises, Fadi Shahade leads ICANN at a time of intense debate about how the internet is governed and by whom. Please join me in welcoming Fadi Shahadi to the stage. Good morning. Um, I'm happy to be here, Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, and the lady of uh, GSMA and this show, uh, Madame Anne Bouvereau, thank you for inviting us here. Um, I am uh, leading ICANN, so let me spend just a couple of minutes to tell you what ICANN is, and then we can get to internet governance, because I think that's what's on everybody's mind. Um, ICANN is the global authority that administers the core identifiers of the internet. As you know, the internet is tens of thousands of networks that many of you manage. But what brings the internet together and makes it one internet is the fact that we've all agreed to have one root system for the names and one register for the numbers, so we all have unique numbers, and also protocol parameters that ensure that the internet is one. ICANN manages these identifiers and ensures that they're there to keep the internet united. We have done so for 15 years now, and not for a nanosecond, the identifiers have been down. It's been working, and we need to keep that working. This is important. Why is that important? If the internet fragments, if we start building different root systems, we will not have an internet without friction. And what is friction? Friction is not just at the technical level. Friction is at the policy level, at the technical level, at the content level. The more friction in the internet, the more we all, frankly, lose the coherence that the internet has brought to the planet. Also, the Boston Consulting Group released a study last month that shows that countries with high internet friction can lose up to 2.5% of GDP over time, and they even gave a very clear country-by-country country friction index. I invite you to look at it, because it gives a clear sense of why is it important to keep the Internet united. Now, for those of you who know ICANN more than others, I know that for many years there have been concerns about ICANN's global state. Many people feel that ICANN is too close to one government, namely the U.S. government. Let me clarify this once and for all. Yes, ICANN was born out of an initiative from the U.S. government. This is a fact. The U.S. government served as a good steward of ICANN's role, which is central to the functioning of the Internet, for many years. But I'm here to tell you today that last week, the board of directors of ICANN has now officially acknowledged that it is time to move beyond that state, that it is time for ICANN to globalize. It is time, it is time, I know this, a lot of people have been waiting for this, it is time for ICANN to become the world's authority. Now, how will we do that? First and foremost, we will do it calmly. We do not want to upset the stability and the security of the Internet. This is critical. We will do it wisely, without trying to simply rush to the wrong structure that will frankly uh, not yield to the right mechanisms of accountability. But ICANN must be accountable to the world, and we will do that. This is now on the move, and I encourage you to read on our website the clear resolution of the board that addresses creating parallel legal structures in international uh, arenas, that addresses uh, moving forward with replacing the U.S. oversight of ICANN with global mechanisms of accountability to all stakeholders. So this is already on the move. And I ask you to join me in this important journey. And it's not a journey to move away from the U.S. It is a journey that we have planned all along, since the inception of ICANN, to get to the point when the global community is ready to take on that responsibility. 
Now, I'm here today largely because of the good vision of Anne Bouvereau. She came to me and she said, we need to work together. And I want to thank her publicly for that vision. We need to work together because the internet is the music to your channels. Uh, the mobile industry builds channels. The internet has been good music to these channels. It's made it easier, more exciting, to actually use the channels you build around the world. We, as Tom Phillips said from JSMA, we are entangled. We are entangled. And when we're entangled, we have to work together. So let me share with you some important things that are happening in internet governance that you need to participate in. Internet governance is in play this year, as we say. There are many bodies, governmental, non-governmental, right now discussing how the internet will be governed in the future. I want to go back to what His Excellency just said in his uh, address, opening address. Let's focus on what's worked to date. What's worked for the internet to date is a process we call uh, multi-stakeholder. I'm not going to focus on the word because it's a political word now, but what's more important, it's a process where governments, industry, civil society, technical organizations come together and decide the fate of the internet and how it runs. This is important. This is partnership. And it's worked very well for ICANN. And we produced an internet that's stable, that's here today, that we all use. So moving forward, as we start to address bigger questions, such as how do we deal with issues of cybersecurity? How do we deal with issues of content? How do we, all the issues on everybody's mind. We need to have a framework to do so, where we work together. And so today, and you will hear later from uh, His Excellency the Minister from Brazil, I'm here to tell you that the President of Brazil, in a meeting I had with her last year, after her famous speech at the UN, we agreed that it is time for us to find a common ground, a middle ground, for us to solve these issues moving forward. Those of you who were at the Wicket meeting in Dubai recall the polarization that happened, with one side insisting on one way and another side insisting on one way, and frankly, the world came out rather confused. Sadly, this would have been a good opportunity for us to agree on some common ground. In Brazil this year, President Rousseff invites all of us to come, not just as governments, industry, governments, civil society, academics, technical people, and especially, I hope, the mobile sector. We should all be there to shape how internet governance will work in the future. Let me tell you clearly what is the scope and expectation out of the Brazil meeting called Net Mundial. Uh, it's netmundial.org, and it's as easy as going there and registering and coming, and I hope you do. Net Mundial will focus on two things. One, what are the common principles for the governance of the internet that we could all agree on? Two, what is the governance framework or ecosystem that we can all work with so, in Brazil, we will not attempt to solve issues. I recall the historic uh, Lake Placid meeting when the world came together after World War II and agreed on a charter and a set of mechanisms for the UN so that we can advance world peace and work together. Here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to focus purely on a framework and a set of principles that would then help us after that, to address the many issues on our minds and issues we have, because we have been battling in the area of internet and infrastructure, in security, in other areas of content, and that cannot continue to be dealt with without uh, a proper set of mechanisms and processes. That's what we're doing in Brazil. I invite you all to be there. One last thing about this. Brazil, as the minister said, is not the end. It's just the beginning of a set of processes. So come to Brazil. 
We will start this journey together. We need you there, and I hope you're all present with us. In closing, I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, I had the distinct pleasure recently of having a long dinner with Vint Cerf. Vint is one of the fathers of the internet, as they're called, and uh, Vint told me, uh, I asked him over, and you know Vint, uh, is a, is a lover of good wine, so he brought a good bottle of wine from his home, and we had a long, long chat. And I asked him, how did the word internet come about? I mean, today I see billions of people on the internet, and this is a guy who was there at the beginning. He says, oh, I came up with it. I said, you just came up with the word internet? He says, yeah, we were sitting down, the engineers, and arguing how to internet the... Com to, uh, we, we were doing internetting of computers. That's where the word started, actually. Internetting of computers. And then we said, this word is difficult. So why don't we cut the netting part and just call it internet? That's how the word came about, he said. And then he proceeded to tell me how he used to carry, be, be carried on the shoulders of my current chairman, Dr. Steve Crocker, who's a big guy, and Vint is thin and kind of lanky, and he would put Vint on his shoulders so Vint could get in from the side open windows of the computer center at UCLA at night so they can sneak in and invent the internet because they wouldn't let them in. They were the young guys. This is remarkable. These people started this thing that we now are seeing amazing numbers, billions of people. My own 88-year-old mother, who's never used even a typewriter, now has a little iPad and can talk to all her friends in Egypt after 30 years being away. This is remarkable. The change that is happening, the ability that we get because of your work, your investments, and the internet industry coming together is remarkable. Let's not forget that this is a treasure. And there are many more billions of people and many mothers waiting for the ability to get this chance. Let's do it together, but let's make sure we do it within a governance model that makes sense to all of us. Thanks again, GSMA. Thanks again, Mobile Industry, for inviting me. I will be here. You can count on ICANN and the Internet and the Internet leaders to be here and to work with you so that we have true symbiotic relationship for the service of the public and the consumers. Thank you very much.